I am not scared of the Wuhan coronavirus, even though many in the fear-mongering media would like us all to be scared. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't think that any Christian should be scared. And my lack of fear is not rooted in some kind of naive invincibility, but instead my lack of fear is rooted in divine truth. What I'm saying is the Christian faith teaches Christians not to fear death, even at a time like this. I want to give you, if you'd allow me, I want to give you three powerfully relevant truths from the teachings of Jesus found in Matthew chapter 10. First, it's in verse number 28 where Jesus plainly says, fear not. And his point there is that your eternal soul is more important than your temporal body. Certainly, we should be prudent and good stewards of our body while we're here on this earth. However, Jesus teaches us not to fear what can happen to the body, but instead fear the one who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. I'm telling you that if you've placed your faith in Jesus as your soul's savior, then come what may in this life, you have nothing to fear. The second truth is this, in verses 29 and 30, Jesus teaches us to fear not because your heavenly father cares about the specific details of your life. It tells us that he has the very hairs on your head numbered. Those are specific details. In Psalm 139, the writer there tells us that God knows the specific details of our down sittings and our uprisings. He knows when you sit down in a chair and even when you climb up steps. He is, the Bible says, acquainted with all my ways. God knows the specific details of your life. And the third truth is found in verse number 31 of Matthew 10, where Jesus says, fear not, and his point there is that you are valuable to God. You're so valuable to God the Father that he sent his only begotten son to die in your place on Calvary's cross. Read Isaiah 53, verse number five, where the Bible there says that Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed. Jesus did that so he could purchase your eternal soul with his sinless blood. That's valuable. You are valuable to God. So fear not because your eternal soul is more important than your temporal body. Fear not because God the Father knows the specific details that you're facing. And fear not because he loves you and you are valuable to him. I'm not afraid of the Wuhan coronavirus. Listen, I love my life and I love my family, friends and my church family, but come what may, to be with Christ is far better. Christian person, we have no fear of death because of Christ.